doing calculations with uh, Provenert are it's great and it works uh, just terrifically uh, all the time. Uh, but you know, sometimes you just want a real quick, convenient, and quick way to be able to do calculation. Well, if we do gas calculations at standard types of temperatures and pressures, we can actually just relate the volume to the number of moles that we have and come up with some constants that are very nice to operate with. STP, that's a nice abbreviation that you've heard before, I'm sure. STP, standard temperature and pressure. What's the standard temperature? The standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius. Now zero degrees Celsius, of course, is 273K. Uh, and the standard pressure is going to be one atmosphere. So at zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere, this is called the molar volume of a gas. 22.4 liters is what a one mole of gas will occupy. And remember, ideally, right, so any gas that you have, if you have one mole of it at zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere, you've got yourself 22.4 liters of that gas. Then, SATP is something where, hey, listen, if you don't want to go into the room and do the experiment at zero degrees Celsius because it's too cold, and it is, then how about standard ambient temperature and pressure, which is kind of normal temperature, room temperature, so 25 degrees Celsius, which is still a little warm for room temperature, but that's what it is. 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kPa, so not quite one atmosphere of pressure. It's called 100 kPa for standard ambient temperature and pressure, and the molar volume of a gas at that is 24.8 liters for one mole. One mole of gas, if you have one mole of a gas and it occupies 24.8 liters, then you know that you must be at 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kPa. Now let's use those in calculations. So here's a question. You've got 2.00 grams of zinc metal and you're going to put it into hydrochloric acid. Ooh, that's an active metal going into an acid that's going to release a lot of bubbles, hydrogen gas bubbles. So the question is what volume of hydrogen gas can you form? if the conditions are at STP, which means you're doing this experiment in a really cold lab room at zero degrees Celsius and at sea level. Okay, so first of all, if you can't do the baby steps of actually doing a balanced chemical equation and getting that right, you might not be able to do this. So here's the deal. Zinc goes into hydrochloric acid. It makes single replacement reaction, zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. The H goes off by itself as H2, remember, because it's diatomic. When you balance that reaction, you put a 2 in front of the HCl, and fortunately that's not going to actually hinder uh, us in terms of mole ratio difference in this question. You might get lucky if you didn't balance it right, but you better balance these equations right. Hey, 2 grams of zinc here, what volume of this can actually form? So listen, we're not calculating moles here, we're calculating volume. Now, you could do this by using Povner, but the STP number of 22.4 liters per mole comes in real handy to do one beautiful line of stoichiometry. Here's how it looks. We need to get from here to here in terms of, of information. So it's 2.00 grams of zinc. We don't want grams of zinc, which is 65.39 molar mass for one mole of zinc. What we want, though, is to can ca cancel out the moles of zinc and leave ourselves with moles of H2. Hey, Kevin Guy, we don't want moles of H2, we want volume. But the equation speaks molish. So you've got to find the moles first. And yes, it's a one-to-one -one ratio here. Like I said, it doesn't hurt you if you didn't do it right. Uh, or, or it wasn't balanced properly. Okay, but here's the thing. Now, what do we know about STP? That there are... 22.4 liters for every one mole of a gas. Hey, we want the moles to cancel out. Put the moles on the bottom of H2 and keep yourself with 22.4 liters of H2. You can put liters next to uh, H2 next to liters here because we're dealing with the gas. And when you do that math right there, you get 0 0.685, and that's three significant digits, so that's right, liters of H2. Hey, that's really nice. Does that actually make sense? Well, you know what? Two grams of zinc at 65.39 grams per mole, that, this is like about 3% of that number right there. So what's 3% of 22.4 liters? Well, 10% of it's two liters, so 3% is another third of two liters, so it's around 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Oh, 0 0.6! Uh, eight five, yeah, it works out, doesn't it? Yeah, think about it. You know, just think. It's just, it's got to be logical. 